It's been a month since Charlie released her album titled Rat, and it has been filled with ups and downs. I think Charlie is just unlucky. It's really hard and rare to see musicians release good albums that fail to chart number one on the billboard after getting praised by the critics. Charlie's brand new album was highly praised by critics like Pitchfork, who gave it an 8.6 rating surpassing Beyonce's iconic Cowboy Carter. The internet's busiest nerd Anthony Fantano also gave the album a 10 out of 10, and that's when you know it's actually that good. The build-up to this album was filled with both ups and downs. Firstly, people didn't like the cover of the album and called it lame. On my side, back in October 2023, Charlie released a single featuring Sam Smith, and to be honest, I wasn't really feeling it and thought somehow the song would be involved in the Brat era. I really thought it was the main single and thank God it didn't make the album. Charlie's album was predicted to debut at number one in the UK, but she was blocked by Taylor Swift's Torture Your Ears Department album. She did this by releasing different variants of her It to her UK fans only. This caused a huge controversy online where many people were calling Taylor Swift the fraud and a glutton people said she pretends like she cares about the success of other women. Well, to be honest, Charlie's album deserved the first position cause it was way better than the albums in front of it on the charts, and to me, it's still the best album released this year. Before all this happened, there was also beef between Charlie's fans and the ones for Camila Cabello. It all started after. Camila announced her new song that was leading to her era, and it kinda sounded like it was a Charlie's ripoff. 